Yes, hello there guys, girls, people of the internet and the YouTube gaming community. My name is Beerpoint Gaming and today I'm bringing you some brand new information about Assassin's Creed Empire. Now in this video guys, I'll be bringing you some new information about the Ancestor, about the leveling up system, about the outfits, about the customization, and about the actual Eagle Vision for Assassin's Creed Empire. So let's get straight into the video. So guys, the hero of this new adventure is called Bayik. Now we do not have an official spelling, but he is the former slave ancestor of Altair. Now the time will be of the antiquity in the times of the pharaohs in Egypt with deserts and mirages. A level system, so RPG setup, the enemies will have levels and the hero has his own level to rise, kind of like Assassin's Creed Syndicate and AC Unity. The outfit your character has is fully customizable. Eagle vision will no longer be available, but you can call and direct your eagle directly to spot and mark your enemies, in the manner of the draining Watch Dogs 2 August Recon Wildlands. Wild animals such as elephants and crocodiles can be hunted. At the moment, the game is in a very advanced phase of development. Now, the graphics would be very similar to AC Syndicate, and it says here the leagues unveiled online would be drawn from the real game. So guys, what can we take from this? This means that the ancestor has to be from Desmond's side, uh, possibly Desmond's son, because as we know, Altair doesn't go into his father's side, that's where e uh, Ezio is. His mother's side actually has Altair, so possibly the main protagonist of the modern day could be Desmond's son living through his memories, or again, just by using Desmond's blood, that's really annoying. But as I said before, Ezio's son also goes back to Egypt to uh, reconcile with the Egyptian assassins. Now, maybe that could then lead into something into the previous past. Uh, because obviously if there's a former slave then maybe he can form the brotherhood create that from previous slaves which then lead into the events of AC1 up until AC Syndicate. Now the time will be of that of the antiquity in the times of the pharaohs in Egypt. So basically ancient Egypt confirmed as always as we knew but the pharaohs now this can be from anywhere for 3100 3, BC all the way up until 30 BC. Now that's always with uh, Caesar the early dynasty the um, Ptolemaic dynasty uh, just basically it's a massive period of time that we do not have a quite you know understanding of now a level system so role playing is set up the enemies will have levels probably the same as AC Syndicate where you had level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4 all the way up to level 7 I think uh, the harder the enemy the higher level the enemies I'm sorry the harder they will be to fight now if you level up hopefully you kind of progression system like Witcher 3 when you unlock new abilities uh, new skills uh, new weapons new craftable items that would be fun and interesting to do the outfit is cust fully customizable. I predicted that. I don't think there will be an assassin's costume due to the fact that it's way back in the BC before the assassins actually had their take on the world. Maybe we can create our own, or maybe uh, he he just does it himself and we just customize it, kind of like AC Unity. Now here's something I hate: Eagle Vision will be no longer available. Why? That's that's the main point in Assassin's Creed. They do say you can direct your eagle. Now this is very, very similar to uh, Assa uh, Assassin's Creed, <laughs> Far Cry Primal, where you call in an owl and you can use his vision to highlight enemies on the map, get different location, loot items. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't like it very much. I would love, just love to have a story where we actually, you know, create Eagle Vision, where we find out we try to uh, use different pieces and sync and just create eagle vision i think that'd be more, much more fun and enjoyable for the players to do wild animals such as elephants and crocodiles can be hunted again in previous videos i've stated that we should be able to hunt it's back in bc time you're gonna need to hunt for food equipment gear basic stuff it's in very advanced phase of development again that's a, that's a given they've had at least three four years to create this game they've had a year off so they didn't have to release it so it should be very good graphics similar to syndicate yes the graphics in syndicate weren't that good but they were good for that time hopefully they've improved them more and apparently online will be in the game which I'm not that you know fussed about wildlife and RPG is obviously the new recipe of Ubisoft to attract a new audience and bring back the fans of the first game now apparently the game should be announced at the next E3 and come out in October 2017 I expect there to be sort of leaks and different announcements way before E3 hopefully within the next month or so just because that's what Ubisoft do, they like to, you know, give different hints and different informations about the next game. So guys, that's been the brand new information for Assassin's Creed Empire. If you guys enjoyed the video, remember to have to click that like button down below. Subscribe for more Assassin's Creed Empire content, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now, and have a great day.